Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Masasi Train Simple. And I'm just going to play this uh, Rallops deck. It's kind of one of the ones from um, the Outrider Cup, I think. Uh, I can't remember which person's it was, um, whether it was Joe Olson's or Timo Dussel's. But anyway, I'm going to give it a crack against this guy this morning. Wish me luck. Against CEO Bevel. Okay, so he's doing Let the Wookie Win Dwell. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, Imperials, oh, Knocking Maze, oh, of course, I was thinking three sites, three effects, but it's not because I already get one. Okay, let's grab some Imperials. Where's the Piet? And also, could grab Thrawn. What are the generals we got in here? Oh, Thrawn is the only general. Okay. So I might as well just get him as well. There is a lot of characters in, in this build, it looks like. Oh no, there's a Veers. I was going to say it would have been weird if there was no Veers. Okay, we'll have Veers then. <coughs> so he's probably playing mainly characters. Uh, what kind of space might he have? A Tantive, a Hanchery Falcon. It's um, probably about it, I would imagine. Especially with him playing the Ground Kashyyyk site. Right then, let's get this party started. Eredu is in there, thankfully. Uh, there's a docking bay, all my sights are in there, which I guess is slightly annoying. Um, the sun is in there, so I could use him to pull the shuttle. The sound deploys for three, I think, doesn't he? Oh, for two, okay. Right then, let's start with the prefix of this. Oh, my walkers in my force pile as well, okay. Let's deploy this. So I think it's quite cool with this new ROP stack, just that bit of activation, um, you know, being able to pull the system, I think it's a really great addition, because, you know, I was activating four my first turn, I'm up to ten already, now eleven. I see one of my opponents, he was playing like a, I think the Fondor starting effect, and he activated like 17 on turn 2, which was just bonkers. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to pass here because I've got a shuttle, so I've got something for space at least. But I want Blizzard 2. Eleven four. don't want to save one. I'm going to draw at this point. Perfect. Yeah, this is like... Stonking. Okay. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I always like to kind of pair stuff up in my hand and move my stuff around so that I know obviously like the characters, starships, interrupts effects. <clears throat> this stuff does cost a lot, looking at six, nine. 12. Oh man, this is non Blizzard Scout 1B. Okay, maybe this isn't someone step. Maybe I was copying it from a list and I've clicked on the wrong. Ugh, well, that's a bit annoying. Okay. Um, you can still move as a React, but it doesn't do the cancelling game text, which is obviously <laughs> the best bit about the V1. <laughs> I need to control three sites. Just call these three relative locations and point controls zero. Okay. <laughs> and I got Oslo obviously the police for free. Piet can go for two. Oh, you three, sorry. Oh man. Um yeah, Oslo uh, Piet can go for two here and then just document transit over <laughs> could always do put Oslo in the shuttle, deploy it here for one, take off for free, and then next turn move over there. Okay, so he's just checked out a docking bay. He has any whiffed on his activation. New phase. Okay. He's only activating 10 and I've got a gig, so I think I might try and flip this turn just to get it going. Got a level 4, so. Ozzel for free. Piet would cost two and then shuttle move for free. And uh, I could deploy at the, the streets and then move over for free to back up Piet. I need to stay on at least two sites. <laughs> Right then, let's deploy something from reserve deck. Oh, you click the by accident. Mm -mm -mm. Let's put the streets down over here. I forgot to look if the psalm was in there. Okay, so if I go Ozzel and Shuttle, no. <laughs> Boy, this adds a destiny when he's with that dude. Um, I'm gonna kind of save Veers. <laughs> Put a guy here, guy here, Pierre. Shuttle Pierre over, move the guy from the streets to where Pierre is, and then leave someone here. Okay, so that would cost me four for talking, probably the best. Five, six. Still have five horse left, so I could put Mara. So 
Could you talk in Oswald? Move Pia over. And then, yeah, I need someone. A four, nine, eleven. That's not good either. Okay. Um. Oh man. Four, seven, nine. They just put Pierre and Oswald together, but I'm nervous he'll drop someone. Um, I might just pass. There's no need to rush. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> Twenty fourth next turn. I've got some guys who can handle themselves. <laughs> He's only activating eleven. Eleven force is pretty good. Yeah, you know, Anakin. Okay. Okay, so weapon protection, wow, oh no, see the pictures and you think it's not. Okay, maybe he's got a handful of characters as well, there's only five of them in there. He's probably thinking, I need to get to Ralt here, because if he doesn't put anything down this turn, I am definitely going to flip, and once I'm flipped, it's going to be hard for him to flip me back. There was no Tantiv in his reserve deck. He has got 27 cards, could have been in there I guess, but I'm guessing no space. Um... Got 24 stores, so the Emperor is going to cost me 5. Tarkin is 9. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Could just go Walker Veers. Play command so he only gets one battle destiny. Shove Ozzel on it as a passenger because he forfeits for six. So that's no problem with <coughs> Veers. Maybe he's going to get a lightsaber. Okay. Could also force push for a trample, try and trample that dude. Lando. Okay, let's activate. Let's force push, see what we've got to work with. <laughs> <clears throat> Vader could be nice because he just cancels his text. Once per turn, he cancels his text. 
Same size. I could shove him aboard, but he does deploy for a lot. <laughs> there is a trample in here. Do Blizzard Walker. Hmm. My other site is in there, which is a bit annoying. Let's go for. Let's do the trample just to. And then. Put the Lana back and this little dude because I can pull him with my objective. <laughs> okay, control. Let's deploy this. <laughs> And then let's try and trample Lando, see if he grabs this. <laughs> or he plays Perimeter Scan, which cancels it, so yeah, I thought he might. <clears throat> let's do General Veers, let's see if he gets barriered. Puzzle aboard. Um, let's do men just for the extra forfeit fodder. Let's play this. Um, okay, let's pass there, let's battle. Let's limit him to one battle destiny. <laughs> Take him into hand of all the characters. So I wouldn't have trampled him anyway. Ugh. Um, yes, I am going to exchange kick for trample. Well, that was pretty shocking. I'm going to grab that. Well, I feel like that couldn't have gone any worse. <clears throat> uh, 
at seven battle damage, so I think Marvel will cover six of it. And then if I lose this close call, I can get it back next turn. Solo with Ray is going to add a battle destiny, which is a little bit annoying because I've got nothing to stop that now. Well, I can trample him, I guess. Hopefully. I hate that when you force push and you end up drawing the card that you force pushed back in. I'm looking for that barrier, which probably did spend. Or it's that card, no my look. That was a bit silly. You should have tried to deploy his docking bay first, but no problem. So if he puts Anakin down, he'll get one battle destiny, but Anakin and Ray will add essentially two to the total. If he puts Anakin and Solo down, he'll get two battle destinies and each destiny will be plus one and it'll be plus one to the total, so that could pretty much clear me completely. Um, I have to hope that the trample will get Solo if, that, if he comes down. I don't really play these decks very often where it's more of like the sort of control spread style. I never quite know, like, should I have tried to flip this last turn? If I had, I would have had pretty weak kind of characters. He had a massive hand. If he had, like, a sorry about the mess or a clash, I was only going to have, you know, Tarkin by himself and then, like, Pierre and Ozil, so... I did have the gick, I guess, but I feel like I wouldn't have been any in any better situation. Um, now I'm going to have 14 force to work with. I can drop my sight. This guy deploys for three, four. I could do pit up there for two and then shuttle him. So. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's Anakin. And Solo. I'm going to have to try and travel Solo. Grabbed. I think if I don't trample him, that's lucky. Success. So 
He's got to draw a... Also play Coward, stop him walking that back at the moment. So I need to draw nine for Battle Destiny to clear both of these guys. If he draws a four, I'm losing both of my characters. Maybe I should have got the sand effect last time instead of trample, but you never know. If I win, at least I get to retrieve an Imperial here, hopefully. Yeah, there's both of my guys. Four is a good start. So there's Ozzel, a Gick. Bother about that. Oh, yes. I am not going to take him into hand. I would like to retrieve Mr. Ozzel. I know I've got to lose both my guys, though, as well. I don't think you can play code clearance, can you, with this anymore? And, uh, yeah. So trampling solo saved my bacon because it got rid of the four. Um, which meant I draw drew four six for Battle Destiny instead of four four, which would have only got Anakin. So this says if Imperials, isn't it? If Imperials control. I don't feel like this is classed as an... It's an Imperial vehicle, but I don't think it's classed as an Imperial. Alright then, let's see what we can do here. Activate pass, control phase. Oh, I guess I would like to force stream for one or three. Uh, sure, why not? Let's see if there's a trample. There is not. There's some guys I could deploy. Okay, let's do... Shuttle and Pierre. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
equals four. Let's do the emperor here. Yeah, over here. I can't remember if the sun was in there. Here he is. This is probably a really weird way of doing it, but the shuttle can deploy here for one. Let's just hope he hasn't got a tantive. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Move from here to here. This thing. And I'm just going to put him aboard as a pilot. So I'm hoping one of these guys survives this turn so I can chuck talking bounty on him. Ideally talking because he's the best, but if I lose talking, I've got a spare. And if we are battling, I'm gonna pitch someone and get Vias back. So he would need to draw seven here to clear talking and the walker. Obviously here he needs to hit the Emperor. Um And put the sun over here, threaten a drain of two. That's going to move over here and put the sun aboard it. Check the sun aboard this, move over here because then next turn I could potentially pull. Oh, hello, Mr. Obi Wan. While destiny is a plus X, Y, X equals a route to locations your Imperials occupy. I'm guessing this counts the route to location of my. Although, do they occupy that when they're in the spaceship? I never remember this stuff. <clears throat> That means I'm hit, and I'm going to play this to stop my forfeit being reduced. Mm. 
could go down with Mara next turn. Oh, he's going to clash. Okay. And then is he going to move one to here and flip me back? So I need to go like guy guy deploy this but a guy at it. <clears throat> so I still need to go like one, two, deploy three characters. Thirteen force, that's probably not gonna happen. Deploy this on Mr. T. Oh, let's see. So we could do Blizzard Walker, another one. <laughs> or I feel like the Grand Inquisitor is a bit useless at this point. Um, I think the Walker, although I've got a billion characters, but <clears throat> the Walker could let me get a guy essentially for free. Let's go with this. Put this here. Oh, there's my alarm. Okay, so if I was to deploy the walker, maybe I should have got the um, something else out. I could get Vader, I guess. <clears throat> So five, six, seven, eight, Let's do it, eh?
So I need to get a guy here and a guy here. If I battle here, I'm definitely losing. Um, I'm trying not to do it so that my opponent gets something. I think if I put him here, get Vader out, move to there, and then leave that where it is. <clears throat> Let's try this. So, four. Pass. Pass. Disembark. And then... Move from here to here with this. Move from here to here with Vader, which puts me. And then here for one pass. Oh, you move for three because it's Vader's one. Cool. Okay, let's look at this. Three. And pass. And pay one to keep him on the table. Oh, well, that was really annoying. Oh great, we lost that off the top. And hopefully he's got a lower destiny underneath now then. Draw their fire, nice. So I think Isard is the only spy protection this deck has.
I'm going to draw a 3, which is essentially 6, so 13 to 9. Let's hope he only draws a 4. Oh, double clash. That's one way of doing it, I guess. Be surprised if we don't bow here so that he puts me back. I'm surprised by Jin as well if he's going to do that. Why not do that and then move in front? I know that this is Moff Gideon. Okay, so I'm not really taking any battle damage here. It's a drain of two at least. I've got enough Gideon because I'm thinking I can deploy the garrison potentially. Oh, you're just going to run away. Okay. So she's got a guy here and a guy here. So if we get this. I mean, yeah, he's at 32, 36, I'm at like 20 odd. Just in case he's got um, one of those annoying things. So 
this guy says, during battle, if we're the Imperial President, once we're game, we cancel a non-immunity sense. Hmm. Battle. Sure, why not? <coughs> We got Anakin. Anakin's obviously going to swing at Mara, so I'm going to lose both of these guys, but not that first of all that. Oh, hello Luke. I'm glad he can't actually down for that BB-8 at the moment. Oh, that one. Wow, okay. Mara is out of there. Moff Gideon or Veers at the moment because he deploys cheap. See, draws a four, which is a five. And layer for one. I win. I'm going to retrieve. Get a six pack or get Moff Gideon. I think put a six pack. So we know in his hand he's got a Luke and three other cards. And then Luke can also get a lightsaber because he can use Anakin's. And from here, this guy, because I don't want him to breach in his cover, put Luke here, barrel swing. Pass and pass. Thirty-two to twenty-eight. Let's peek at this. A two. Just can't take it into hand. Guessing Luke would come here, use Dwell to put the lightsaber on him. Although my battle destiny is a plus one, two, three, so I don't need to draw a three to get Luke. David John's only a two, so that's not good.
thankfully we've both got low hands. Um, oh, Luke's going after my Inquisitor, okay. The other thing I like is this made his loot deploy plus one. Because pilots deploy plus one to space to the spaceport sites. Not that it mattered when he was activating 16, but you know, sometimes that one force makes a difference. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Chewie's gonna shoot my walker. I'm guessing he yeah, activated 16. I don't think he can get down to those two sevens. Maybe he can. I'll do it. Maybe you can get down to those two sevens. I need a three here. Or we'll do it though. Uh, I don't want to swap. No, be good. Everybody dies. Oh, he's got two cars in hand, two in force pile. Chewie's going to shoot this, guess. It's not going to flip me back. That was that garrison. Which means a six. Maybe it's going to be one of them sevens. That will not do it. Get Mara and go after, or do I get the Grand Inquisitor? I mean, he'd be six, I'd be five, six, seven, eight, plus Destiny. Check them off down, pull out the what's it. That's true, his fortune over there is zero at the moment. Do 
do drink for one, drink for one. Yes, we'd like to use one for us. What was a mistake? What's a you've got? A five, okay. That's why I wanted to move that to there, because she's... <laughs> oh, you plonker. Oops. Oh, this is what I mean, you control decks, you got to be thinking of, like, Every turn, I mean, that was probably a total blatant daft mistake. But I was thinking I'm going to have all three sites covered so that when she can't go anywhere. And then what do I do? Leave a blank space. So we've got 13 cards in hand, 12 in reserve. And so I have to take 5 damage. I feel like this is that moment, so like it's the beginning of the end when you take it, yeah. <clears throat> And that is the end of that. Okay, so I probably played that like an absolute buffoon. Um, sorry, can't talk and type. Um, uh, can't type and talk. There we go. Um, but yeah, so there's that game. Props. Thanks very much for watching another episode of the Missile Train Temple, and I'll see you again next time. Till then, may the force be with you.